all things nerd video welcome back to exploring the world of azeroth in world of warcraft welcome back to part three of our court of stars out of bounds exploration video we have already broken out of court of stars and we are in part three as you guys remember i already released part two or part one and part two i put them together <laughs> last tuesday and that was val shara and azuna Today we're going to be exploring High Mountain and Stormheim and uh, we're going to go be taking a look around and seeing what we can find. Now I am super excited. We're going to continue our exploration of this place and we're going to go see and take a look what Blizzard has hidden outside of the Court of Stars dungeon. Now if you guys don't know, the Court of Stars is a dungeon located in Suramar, right down here in the Suramar city on the Broken Isles in the Legion expansion. We broke out in part one of two, and we're now in part three, and we're gonna go to continue our exploration. So I'm excited. We're already here at the entrance to High Mountain. We've gotten through where we needed to go, and we're just gonna continue our adventure. Now I wanna thank you guys for all those who tuned in to part one and two. You guys are awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed that. One of the very highlighted things of that video was going into the Dream Grove, the Druid Order Class Hall. That was really fun. Uh, that was probably the highlight of the video. We were a demon hunter in the druid class hall. Normally you get teleported out if you're not a druid. So that was very special to see. And that was a ton of fun. And actually, if we look over here, we got a cool tower going on. Look at that. Which we can go to. So anyways, guys. Yeah, welcome back to part three. This is going to be fun. We're going to continue our exploration of the Broken Isles. Now, remember, like I had said in part one and two, the entirety of the Broken Isles is outside of the Court of Stars. So once you break out of this dungeon, you can go explore freely anywhere you want to go around the Broken Isles. Obviously not Argus, unfortunately. But unless there's a way to get to Argus out of the, Bro the Court of Stars, I have no idea. Maybe. Somebody knows a glitch or something. Good luck. Um, <laughs> but for as far as I know, you can go anywhere around the Broken Isles. You can go to the Broken Shore. You can go to the Eye of Shara. Ash Ashara. Ashara. Gosh, I'm not even going to say it anymore. Azuna. High Mountain Stormheim. So today we're going to be in High Mountain Stormheim. And we're just going to go take a look around. So we're excited, guys. Let's go to continue our adventure. And as I butchered the name, Ashara. There we go. <laughs> I know all you WoW Lord nerds cringe every time I talk, so um, I know you'll be correcting me in the comments. It's actually Ashara, Nathan. <laughs> uh, that's funny. All right, guys, let's go take a look up in this tower and let's go see what we can find here. Uh, as you guys know, I'm not a big WoW, WoW Lord nerd. I don't know all the history, all the all the proper names and how to say it sometimes, so just bear with me. Um. This is an awesome tower to get up into, though. Gives you an awesome look at the giant tree behind us. Look at that. It's so amazing to me that Blizzard kept the entirety of the Broken Isles out here to begin with. I am just as surprised as the rest of you. If not more. Um, now, we can... We want to go explore all of high mountain right but the one thing i really want to go get into is the hunter's lodge which is the hunter order class all or the artifact weapon back in legion it's the true shot lodge we're going to be going in there and you actually can get there playing any class you want you don't have to be a hunter which is really awesome because we're out of bounds uh we can just go freely explore in there and check it out so let's go take a look I just gotta remember how to get in there to begin with, but I think we can go this way and keep going up the mountain. And I think we should be getting in there very soon. This has been a really, really fun series so far. Like I said, uh, I'm gonna be dropping a video every Tuesday for like the next three or four weeks as we cover the Broken Isles. Um, I'll also be releasing other OOB videos every Thursday as well, so don't worry. It's not just gonna be Broken Isles content and videos in between that I feel like uploading. Um, so let's go see, how do we get to the True Shot Lodge? Well, I believe it is over here. So we actually need to head this way, I think, if I'm not mistaken. 
But look at this, guys. Look at the entirety of the Broken Isles is here. We are in High Mountain, and they got everything here. It's just awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You can actually get to the very top of the mountain, which we're going to go do. Um, but I'm trying to get into the True Shot Lodge, and I'm trying to remember how to do that. What's so funny is I made a hunter, and I don't remember how to get to the True Shot Lodge. Uh, it's been a minute, so bear with me. Let's go see if we can go run around circles here. Now, another thing as we're doing OOB, we do want to be careful, right? We want to avoid water at all costs. The reason being is you guys saw in my part one slash two video that I DC'd a bunch of times. If you're ever doing out of bounds content and you break out of a dungeon and there's water, just be weary that you might not be able to swim in it. Um, be sure to walk over it because if you decide to swim in it, you will fall in and you'll DC and hopefully you get lucky enough to get back out. Or you have to open up a uh, blizzard support ticket. <laughs> so and that and that's that's no fun to do. So but let's keep making our way out this way. I think if we go up over here, we're able to get to the lodge. So let's go take a look. It's just amazing to me that you're they kept all this now these are the only two class order halls i believe are kept on the broken isles themselves if i'm not mistaken um i didn't play any other class so i don't know i don't remember uh i know shaman is in the is in deep uh or is actually not deep home but is in the maelstrom um, if I remember correctly, the mage class order hall is actually in Dalaran, a part of it. Um, and then you have the druid, which is back in Basara. Oh, here we go. All right. We made it to, Ooh, okay, guys, we're going into the hunter class order hall. So this is going to be awesome. We're going to be a demon hunter in the hunter class order hall. I'm excited. Let's go check this out. Check it out. We're here. We made it. How awesome is that? So if you guys ever wanted to be another class in another order hall, this is your time to do it. Come freely explore the hunters. Oh, this is so sweet. Okay. I think we're making history, guys. Look at us. Going up here. Now, I got to give all this credit to Submerge. He was the one to find the OOB bounty on the Court of Stars. Um, without him, I never would have knew this was all here. So I owe all the Out of Bounds credit to him. And uh, this is just amazing that we're able to come up here and explore the Hunter's Class Order Hall freely. Can we get on top of the roof? Look at us. We can. We're so good at this game. Not like we're demon hunters or anything. We don't just fly up not that it's not that easy come on oh all right we're good that was close we almost lost ourselves there uh okay so i think that's as far as we're gonna go but that's really awesome look at that check it out we're in the hunter order hall as a as a demon hunter all right let's go fly back down and let's go take a look inside let's go see what they keep all out in this out of bounds I think they keep everything for the most part. They do. Check that out. I'm going to turn up my graphics settings here real quick. Um, so we can kind of load everything in. So I don't have to keep. Now this is where you normally put your artifact weapon, right? And you would customize it. I love the pictures of... Um, I believe that is... Isn't that uh, up in Northern in the Grizzly Hills or Howling Forge? Probably one or the other, right? Because it's definitely not the Dragon Isles, I don't think. Man, it's amazing. It's just so cool that you can go into another Order Class Hall here. And look at all the little, just little details they keep from all the Order Hall and all that. It's amazing to me that you can come up here and see all this stuff. Alright, we're going to go fly back down here. 
And they do keep all of here. There's a picture of Pandaria. Yeah, guys, so this is your time. If you ever wanted to go explore another class order hall is a different class other than be trying to get in the hunter or the druid come to the uh court of stars out of bounds it's amazing what you can see out here and let's get a picture here let's take a screenshot might even use that as my thumbnail we'll see but i like taking uh, screenshots to save the memories so when we go places we'll be like hey we've been there <laughs> All right, let's go climb up the mountain here and let's go take a cool Batman glide down back into High Mountain. And then we'll go explore High Mountain a little bit and then we'll head our way into Stormheim. So this is awesome. Awesome, awesome sauce. Awesome, awesome sauce. Awesome, awesome stuff. All right, let's go make our way up the mountains here. Check this out. Now, the question is, do we want to go explore that? Look at all the elevators are working, too. There are, is there elevators? They should be working. Because how else do you get in there? I guess you can go around. Um, so, do we want to go explore? I guess we want to go down here and around and then come back up, right? And then we can go straight into Stormheim. So, let's go do that. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go out this way. See our guys facing out that way. So we're going to go glide out this way. Um, we need to go get to this other mountain over here. And we're just going to go start down that way and go along the coast. And let's go see if they keep anything cool out there. Now, unfortunately, in our first part one and part two video, we didn't see as much as I would have liked. Um, which I was kind of sad. I wish Blizzard would have kept a lot more. Now, I've been told by sources that all the fun stuff out of the Court of Stars OB is actually back around the dungeon itself. So what we'll do is for the finale, we'll go back around here and we'll go explore the outer edges. And I just told there's a bunch of stuff hidden around there that's really awesome to see, like the cubes and stuff like that. But look at this. I just love the gorgeous view. Demon Hunter is such a cool class, is it not? You can just glide everywhere and have fun. It is so cool. <laughs> I think Demon Hunter is like well, probably the best class in the game uh, when it comes to, especially out, out of bounds, obviously. But man, just doing exploration and all that is so awesome. So we're going to go make our way around down here. And uh, we're just going to keep gliding down. So they do keep all of the back aisles down here. Um, unfortunately, I haven't found anything too far out in the water yet because you do see if you fall in. So I try not to go out there too far. And what's really interesting actually is going out in the water is I haven't found any fatigue yet. So that's been really great. So you guys might be able to just go freely explore the oceans here. Another OOB actually where you can explore the oceans freely is uh, over in BFA on uh, Zandalar. The, it's not the mother load, but I believe it's Altazar or no, it's the battle for, I don't remember. What is that? Uh, is it the raid? I think it's the battle for Dazalar. Dazalar Alor, I think that's how you say it. Uh, you get entirety of there's no fatigue out in the water so you can actually go as far as out in the ocean as you want you will hit a wall eventually unfortunately but uh, you know you can go out there and freely explore if you want to try cool things one thing that I thought was really kind of neat is actually when I did that uh, raid out of bounds um, I was actually so far out that I hit um, Nashatar out in the ocean so i was in here off the coast of najmir i went over here into like this map section and it started playing nashatar music and i was like what so it actually recognized we were in nashatar but it didn't change anything you know like we weren't actually actually in nashatar because nashatar is its own instance place so you're not going to be able to get there just walking across the water unfortunately 
But I, I don't know. I thought that was kind of neat, though. All right. We got to be careful here because there's a lot of water coming up. And we don't want to... We don't want to swim, like I had said. So we do need to be careful here. So we're going to play a little bit of uh, walking around the water here. But as you guys can tell, all of High Mountain is here. And they do keep all of the coasts and everything out here. So pretty neat to see. Um, I do. Oh, one thing I also do recommend is when you're doing OOB, get some inflatable mount shoes for your mount. It allows you to walk across the water and you don't have to deal with falling in. And it just is a huge lifesaver when you're doing out of bounds content. Um, I highly recommend you do get those. It will save your life a million times over. So if you ever do out of bounds content, get the inflatable mount shoes for your mount and it will change your world. I'm telling you now. So if you don't have that, definitely invest in those. They're really cheap. I think you can buy them off the auction house. There's usually like a couple hundred or thousand on there you can buy. So just go to the auction house, pick them up for like, I don't know, probably a couple hundred gold or something. I don't know, but they're really cheap. So anyways, let's keep exploring and let's keep going around the aisle here. Hope you guys don't hear me drinking in the background. <laughs> I'm drinking a vitamin water rise orange. It's pretty good. I like I'm kind of been addicted to the vitamin water drinks lately. I really like the um zero sugar. I'm trying to go back on a diet again, so we'll see how it goes. I already lost 25 pounds the first diet I did, so we're gonna see if we can lose another 25 pounds. And uh yeah. I'm gonna try for it. But I've been going back to the zero sugar, everything, zero carbs. And uh, that's normally the diet that I go after when I diet is there's no sugar, no carbs. So, oh, OK, we got to be careful there. We almost fell in the water. Now, if you're on now, you can be like right here. If we were to get off our mount and jump in the water, we'd be fine because our guy wouldn't go into a full swimming animation. The moment our guy goes into a full swimming animation is when we're in, in trouble. So we got to be careful there. Now, what is that way out in the distance? Look at that. It's like a shipwreck and all that. I think that is, um, what's that dungeon out there? I can't remember what it's called. Is that the halls? Not the halls of valor, but that's shields rest. Oh, wow. Do they actually keep shields rest all the way out there too? Hmm. It's been a minute since I've flown out to Shields Rest. Ever since I started Legion. Alright, where are we right now? Alright, we're on the coast. We're going into Stormheim. So let's actually head back into land here. And let's go walk across. We're going to get some cool... St Stormheim was probably one of my favorite areas in all of Legion. I just love the Viking atmosphere and the music and the, um, you know, mythic... Uh, what do you call it? The mythic Viking lore, and I don't know. I love the statue. Look at that. That's so cool. All right, guys, let's keep heading our way out this way. Sorry, I know this video hasn't been the most exciting in the world, but we did get to see the Hunter's Lodge as a demon hunter, so that was awesome. But we just need to get back on shore here. And actually, we're coming up to Stormheim. Which is the Maw of Souls dungeon coming up right over here. And then uh, we can actually go see the Gates of Valor. And let's go check all that out. Here we go. We entered Stormheim. Now, for those of you that have watched my Exiles Reach video. You should be very familiar with Stormheim. <laughs> uh, doing the OOB. Because, uh, well, you should be familiar with Storm anyways if you played the Legion expansion. But, um you can get into stormheim caves in the exiles reach islands out in the distance and that was a lot of fun ob video i really enjoyed making that one um i'm definitely gonna have to go revisit exile reach because there's a, a few things i want to test out especially in um in the caves and all that there's some things that i think might work doing out of bounds and try and bring characters into exiles reach but we'll see i don't know it might not work out it might who knows? But what's so funny is in the Exile Reach video, you can actually um, see actual... 
Okay. Um, that was weird. Something just completely... Something just, like, popped up on my 4K smart TV, and it was like, your account's been signed out. So I don't know what that was all about, but okay. All right, let's keep making our way out this way. Hopefully someone just didn't hack my account. That would have sucked. I guess we'll take a look at that after this. Or, I don't know, the TV might have just lost connection too. You never know. All right, let's go make our way into Stormheim. And let's go take a look around. Let's go take a look around this area first. And let's go see how much they keep back here. Like I said before, definitely one of my favorite areas in the Legion expansion. I just love the music. And actually, I haven't done any videos on the um, Stormheim dungeons yet, have I? I need to do a few OOB videos. Still got Maw of Souls to do. I have um, Trial of Valor. I have Halls of Valor. Actually, I did the Halls of Valor. And heads up, if you guys ever do that OOB, that place is just covered in death walls. I mean, not death walls, but just walls everywhere. Like, you, you get stuck every single place you go. Uh, and it is absolutely very difficult to escape. And it's kind of nearly impossible. So, I have not found a really good way out of that place yet so if you find a good escape out of uh the halls of valor let me know i would love to learn all right we're gonna keep making our way up the mountain here you know i am curious so we got the mob souls i'm curious to see if the um the entrance is down here let's go take a look sometimes they keep the entrances and they don't um but i think they do here but you you always get stuck with like a wall or something unfortunately so we might not be able to go as far as we want to go so let's go take a look and see <clears throat> excuse me and i believe if i'm not mistaken the entrance is right over here to the left Yeah, okay, this is freaking awesome because I think normally you can't actually get in here, right? Or am I stupid and you can? Okay, maybe I'm being stupid. I think the Maw of Soul is actually outside. I, I was freaking out for a moment. I haven't been over here in a while, so it's nice to actually explore the Out of Bounds, all of uh, Stormheim, and check it out because it has definitely been a minute since I've been here, but I think the entrance of the Maw of Soul is right over here, actually, if I remember correctly. Yep, here it is. There's the Maw of Souls. I think this is the entrance, if I'm not mistaken. This, right? I don't know. Come on, guys. Help me out here. Maybe I'm being silly here. I just... I know that's the Maw of Souls dungeon. So the entrance must be around here somewhere. Oh, yeah. Actually, isn't it right below in these rocks here? Let's go fly down here. Here it is. Because I think you start going through here, correct? You come out of here. I know a lot of you are like, Nathan, just stop. Stop talking. <laughs> I'm just forgetting where things are. Uh, okay, we're like right directly on it. So this, I think, is the entrance right here. Yeah, this looks about right. Oh, we just DC'd. Because I think we went into the entrance itself. So can we get out? That's the question. All right, I'm going to keep hitting eventual retreat. And we're going to see if we can get out. We're stuck in a hard place here. This is not good. Ah, crap. Dang it. I didn't think it would DC us, to be real with you guys. 
All right, let's see if we can get out one more time. We already eventually retreated out, so we need to go backwards here. Ah, okay. Dang, we might have just got stuck. Well, that sucks. Okay, the only thing I could think we could maybe do is turn ourselves around and dash out. That's the only thing that's probably going to save us if we could do it quick enough. Nope. Yeah, well, this sucks. Alright, guys. Well, I will be right back because I DC'd. So, give me one second. Alright, guys. We are back. <laughs> a little bit of a delay there. <laughs> I'm going to warn you. Don't go into the Maw Souls dungeon down here into the entrance. You will constantly DC non-stop. And it was a pain to try to get out of. So, eventually, I just opened up a support blizzard ticket and just, you know had to had to give in <laughs> i couldn't get out unfortunately i tried my best but uh we're back we're exploring stormheim and we're gonna go take a look around more here um so we were over here let's go take a look in this area by the halls of valor and um let's go fly down there and uh, let's go take a look around let's go see what we can find now we are going to make our way out, so we're going to keep fell rushing and flying here. Because we do want to try to make it over to here. I don't know if we gave ourselves enough room, but we're going to go find out. Maybe we should have went a little higher. How many fell rushers? Oh, we're almost there again, so we're almost there. So what we can do... Uh, I think we'll make it. Ooh, I love the... They keep the Stormheim statues down here for the Halls of Valor and all that. Get up a little higher. Oh, nice. I think we're going to make it just fine. Yeah, this is exactly where I wanted to go. So, perfect. Uh, but that was unfortunate. <laughs> Getting stuck in the Maw Ma of Souls dungeon. Uh, the entrance. But that's okay. It uh, It is what it is. Alright, we're going to make our way up the hill here. And we're just going to climb the mountain. And we're going to make our way around. So let's get on our hoverboard. And let's make our way out this way. We're going to go back to the future this way. Now, as you can tell, like I said, they do keep everything out here. Like, everything that's modeled on the Broken Isles is here. So, if you want to explore something out of the Court of Stars, you're going to find everything. Um, now, I'm kind of afraid to go check out other dungeon entrances now, just because... I don't want to DC, but the good thing about this one is if we do DC, when we load back in, we should be able to get back out pretty easily. So let's go see if we can actually get into the Halls of Valor and the Trial of Valor uh, entrances. Because normally you can't walk through them because of the portal and they stop you. I'm assuming here it's the same thing. Uh, but let's go find out. Oh, I love that all the light changes. All right, so here's both sides. You have the Trial of Valor. You have the Halls of Valor. So let's go see if we can actually walk into one of them. Oh, we can. Awesome. You know what? I'm going to have to use one of these for my um, liminal space videos because I love this. Oh, this is awesome, guys. Normally, you can't get in here. So if you ever wanted to go explore what it looks like inside this place, it's like a beautiful cathedral. Now, it did... I unmounted on purpose because I wanted to walk around but let's go see if we can actually get inside the trial of valor side as well and we can awesome look at that that's amazing I love it normally you can't get in here so this is really like a cool treat here definitely going to use this for my liminal space video I should just do a liminal space video here hey guys welcome back to another liminal space video <laughs> Now nah, we're gonna go continue. So let's go back outside. Yeah, but that's really awesome to know. Okay. So I know that you can go inside of there. Normally you got the portals stopping you. Alright, let's go continue out this way. And let's go take a look and see what else they keep to our right. I'm assuming they keep all of the um uh the other neighborhoods over here and going into the Stonehenge. I don't know. That's what I call it. Stonehenge.
Isn't that an awesome shot? Look at that, surfing along. I do have to say, Stormheim is one of the prettier zones in all of the game, I think. It's so awesome to see, like, all the colors. It's like the fall foliage and all that. I don't know. It reminds me also of God of War, right? So, it's just, it's just awesome. I love fall. Fall's coming up here in a few months, and I am very excited because I'm a huge fall. I love the holidays. I love Thanksgiving. I love Christmas. Um, I just, I'm like a little kid around that time and I love decorating with my wife. We decorate our condo and we, uh, I don't know. We just have a good time with it. So it's definitely a, a fun time for me and, uh, it's just, it's just awesome. So I hope you guys are big fans of the fall foliage as well. I know I am. You know, while we're over here, we might as well go check out Shields Rest too, huh? We can definitely just walk over there or surf over there I should say on the water but let's go see what they keep down here so they do keep all of this as well wow that's amazing and I'm also very afraid to go down here because this is the if you go into the um, trial of valor this is the oh gosh uh, I bet you anything that that is DC and you can walk directly down in there and you get stuck or fall through the ground. So I want to test it so bad because I'm here. But for you guys, in the sake of the video, I'm going to keep going uh, and I'll try it. I'll test it on my own time. Let's go check out Shields Rest and then we'll come back. You know what? We'll do that together. We'll go down there. All right. So let's go check out Shields Rest. We'll come back and then we'll jump down there and see if we can actually keep going down. I'm assuming it's either going to DC us or that's all not stable and you'll just walk through the ground there. Or you'll hit a wall and you won't be able to go down there to begin with. So it's going to be one of those three, but we're going to find out. But let's go head out to Storm's um, Shield's Rest. Sorry. And uh, let's go take a look up there and see what they actually keep out there. If we can get out there, who knows? It might hit us with the fatigue. Now, as you guys know, I am I do have a sneaky bright potion on again in my videos. I've been enjoying those so much. I love that potion. I want to thank Hero so much for that potion and uh, showing me those. I didn't even know those existed to begin with. Um, so that's just been such a blessing. And uh, <laughs> all right. What's that all about? Huh. Alright. I does somebody know the lore and the history behind this dude? Maybe someone can tell me. Cause I don't remember. That's hilarious though. It's like chilling back there. Alright, let's continue. As we met our skull traveler friend. Unfortunately he met his demise a while back. Now, I think we can get out to Shield's Rest, or uh, Shield's Rest, yeah. Now, if over here is actually the Trial of Valor. Oh no, that's Shield's Rest, all right. Ah, man, okay, we gotta get down to the coast here first. So let's go down here and pray to God we don't DC. We don't wanna hit the water, so let's be careful here. So let's get on our hoverboard and let's go head out there, guys. Let's go take a look. What do they keep? Hopefully we don't hit fatigue or DC. And then we're going to come back. And as I promised, I'm going to go jump down that hallway. Let's go glide over here. And let's go take a look together. So far, we're not hitting fatigue. So that's a really, really, really good sign. Um, but let's keep going. Let's go make our way out here and see what they keep. I'm assuming they keep all of Shield's Rest out here, so that would be awesome. I hope they do. Oh, one thing I was going to mention to you guys. If you ever get a chance to get in the water in Out of Bounds, if the Out of Bounds allows you to actually jump in water and swim, it does happen from time to time. Usually they like to um, hide test subjects in the water. And or like test models um, down there. So sometimes you can find just random test models in the water. And they'll be there. 
So that's really awesome. Not always, they're there, but they do exist. All right, we made the shield to rest, so definitely look out for those. Oh, we're here. This is spooky, huh? If you guys don't remember, this is actually the place you come to in the beginning of... Um, did we just DC? Oh, no way! It DCs you out here. Why? Why are we getting DC'd everywhere we go now? This is horrible. Oh, gosh. I don't even know if we're going to be able to get out now. Oh, thank God. Okay. Ooh, all right. It does not like us going into, like, the instances or the dungeons or the portals or anything. Can we look in there at least? That's what I'm... If we do see again, I'm just going to walk away. I just want to see if we can even see in there. Oh, there is a lot in there, too. Ah, I wish we could get in there. That's unfortunate. All right, guys. Well, we know that you do see here, so we're not going to go play around with it. But there you go. Now you know what's on um, Shield's Rest. Um, so... Um, definitely come take a look out here and try for yourself but it's just for the sake of the video I'm gonna head back and we're gonna go down those stairs and let's go see if we DC or fall through I don't know we're gonna go find out but that's interesting to know okay so you can't actually go in there it will DC you hmm I wonder why certain parts I'm really curious now. Bear with me, guys. We're just gonna... We're almost at the end of the video. We're just gonna have to get back over here. So we can go down the steps again. And we can go down there like I promised you guys. And then we'll end the video there if we fall through. If we don't, we'll see what happens. Or I'll make another cool liminal space. So let's go take a look. Um, but I just want to thank everybody who's been supporting the ATN channel. Uh, I want to th especially thank the ATN community. You guys are awesome for sticking by my side and watching all my videos and supporting me and thumbs up and liking the videos and commenting and just all the love and support you guys show the channel is just absolutely incredible. It means I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, I love making these videos for you guys. I hope for many years to come. There's ATN's going to be around, and um, I hope to produce World of Warcraft content for a long time. And uh, I just want to say thank everybody so much. You guys are an awesome crowd and an awesome community, and I couldn't be more grateful. So thank you so much. All right, guys, we're going to go wrap up part three of our Port of Stars Out of Bounds. Uh, part four... We're definitely going to go take a look into Suomar and the surrounding area there. And we're going to see if we can actually fly into Dalaran as well. But we're going to have to go back up into High Mountain. So we'll go explore Suomar and then we'll go back into High Mountain and see if we can fly into Dalaran. And then to end everything, we'll wrap it all up with the Broken Shore and the Eye of Ashara. And then uh, we'll call it, a, call it a day, huh? All right, guys. Moment of truth. Let's go fly into here. And let's end the video in style. Enjoy. Well, that was disappointing. <laughs> we hit a wall. Oh, it does allow us to jump. No, it doesn't. That's unfortunate. Well, that's funny, though. We hit a wall. Oh, no, it does let us go. Oh, we DC'd. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, there you go. You know that you DC going into the other part down the stairs here. I don't even know if we're going to be able to get out, to be honest with you. Can we? Maybe. We might get out, but that's hilarious. Well, anyways, guys, I just want to say thank you so much. Um, you guys are awesome. Appreciate all your support to the channel. Hopefully we can get out of here. I think we're stuck. So that's okay. Anyways, guys, thank you so much again. I'll catch you all in part four of the Court of Stars. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for sticking around this long. I know these videos are long, but I've been having so much fun making them. Um, if you guys get a chance, definitely come check out the Court of Stars yourself. And uh, I will catch you guys all in the next video. Take care.